also for our World Cup that is fit and uh, all the team uh, deserved this qualification and the semi-final will be very difficult because the semi-final you have uh, to play against the team who played already yesterday and uh, Sudan has the A team here it's the same one so uh, it will be difficult we have one day less for recovery but I think physically uh, they are okay and we can win also the semi-final. Oh, differently is to try to win uh, before the extra time. Huh? So you don't lose too many energy before the final. <laughs> I love that. Just yeah. win for extra time is easy. Come on, I mean. I was like, okay, I hope in the semi-finals against Sudan, we just do the business by 90 minutes. We should be like 3-1 up and... Well, good. That, that's the way it should be, uh, hopefully. Okay, uh, let, let's uh, listen to a guy. You know, some people believe he's already on the plane to Russia. Um, I, I can't agree less. Ikechuku Ezenwa, man of the match in the game, Nigeria, Angola. I mean, what did he say? I mean, a lot of game-changing saves uh, that he made and he kept us in that game. So, captain of the Home Eagles, uh, Ikechuku Ezenwa, let's listen to him, uh, his reaction after that game. Okay. Number one thing is um, believe in God and the solidarity in the team because I've made them to understand that this competition we cannot go empty handed. Before we left the show of Nigeria as the captain of the team, I had a closed door meeting with the team and uh, we agreed on ourselves that uh, we're going to make 180 million Nigerians proud. And I think uh, it starts from the game against Rwanda. And now we are in the semi final. So I think it's determination and uh, dedication and discipline. These three Ds are working for us. And we we'll still believe we'll still do more for our great country, Nigeria. Yeah, because it's a knockout stage. One must win. And we are looking forward to win that game. But for the first thing, we just have to respect them. And uh, we don't fear them. But we we'll keep our head humble and be focused on that game. That's all. All right. Uh, that wasn't a motivational speaker. It was actually. Just in case you were wondering, that the goalkeeper, the captain of the own Eagles, but very confident um, as and what there. And um, well, like I said, someone whose ticket, uh, passport, everything already saw that should be on the plane uh, to Russia. And I'm very sure few people would disagree with what I just said. All right. Well, uh, Nigerians are excited, but the Angolans sure not um, excited, um, especially after getting so close. It was. So near, but yet so far for the Angolans. So let's listen to them, their immediate reaction after losing to the Omegos of Nigeria. I want to thank uh, to the organization, for the great organization. And uh, we did our best, the fellows. Uh, and uh, we'll go, we go with the with, with, with sense that uh, we did our great, we did all we could in the field, and the rest. God, God uh, is with God. I guess the, it was bad luck, uh, but uh, game football is like that. There are times that uh, uh, win, and there are times that uh, things like that happen. Just, just keep on working, working to do, to do best in the next time. In football, we we don't say like that, but uh, Nigeria is a great team, and they played, they played good. And they, they did a, lot, a good job. Well, I'm so happy for the organization, for the game. Um, you know, Nigeria is is win. Angola is lost, but it's okay. Just it's the game. Yeah, you know, it's a little bit lost. This uh, this players is uh, 18, 17 years old, but it's okay. Next year. <laughs> wow, I don't want to be in their shoes. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, they try to put up the smile, but of course, you know, the pain somewhere hidden. But the Angolas, uh, you know, putting up a brave face after losing. Um, coming very close, we must um, give them that. And um, Cecilia, I'm happy we're not the ones having uh, to be gracious <laughs> in, <laughs> in defeat. defeat. <laughs> in defeat. You know what that means? I think it's in case you can say one that, you know, baffles me. Is, is, is a level of confidence is infectious. I was like, when he was talking, I was like, okay, we can actually win. The title. I mean, at first, I'm giving up with winning because sometimes, you know, the way they play can be very, very heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you're expecting... As typical I know, I of understand. most Nigerian teams. No, no, I wouldn't say that because I've seen we play better games. 
Okay. I mean, against Rwanda, fine, we're wasteful, but at least we we control the ball. Yeah. But against the Angolans, I was wondering what was going on. You know, at at the point I'm like, okay, is is there something wrong with the post or something? <laughs> is, is it higher? Is it higher you than, know, it should or, be? than it should be? I mean, everybody just shoots into the sky. So you you like when you see that, you know, you tend to lose that confidence. But listening to Ikechuka is one right now. I think I'm one of the, the people that he's been able to convince that look. They can actually go all the way. They may not be playing well, but the most important thing is no matter how scrappy it can be, no matter how bad the play, the most important thing is when you score your goals, you know that obviously you will win. Against Sudan, I don't want to witness what happened you know, against Angola. Let it be a smoother one. Then maybe once we get to the final, whatever happens can happen. But at least before we get to that final, the next game against Sudan, they can just try to put our minds at rest mm -hmm. by playing good football that we know that they can actually do. They can do better than what they did yeah. uh, last night. I know that they can because, I mean, the likes of Oporto, we've seen them, you know, when they're playing for the league, we've seen, you know, how they can, you know, just string passes together. Rabi Ali also, sometimes you just um, wonder. Let me quickly say this. Um, I'm very happy for Gabriel Okechuku because okay, yeah. <laughs> if, if he hadn't scored, I, I, I'm not sure. A lot has been said about him before the tournament and a lot of us say, let's see this guy. Let's see more of him. Let's see more of him. And he gets a chance, just balloons it. And I was like, what's happening here? Oh. Then it turns out to be the savior. Um, that, that's, that's heartwarming. And, you know, Cecilia, I, I can tell you that, look, history remembers only the winners. Nobody is going to remember that it took us almost the whole duration of the game to get our equalizer. The fact is Nigeria is in the semifinals, and we have to accept that there are days. There are days you won't play so well, and you will, you know, qualify. So I'll take that result over playing well and not qualifying, even though... I would love to be in a situation where I could sit down, be calm, be relaxed, see Nigeria, trash anybody. But, you know, I'll be realistic enough to know that it's not going to happen every day. And um, so that's the way it is. All right, let's go on a break. Um, when we return, we'll also be talking about something good that happened over the weekend. We're talking about the Falconets. We'll also be talking about the transfer season. A lot happening uh, in the amazing world of sports. Let's go for that break. Back for more sports this morning.